is Nick, that's Blake, and we're gonna, we're getting ready to take the, the X-Mex out tomorrow to the gravel pits. Um, he's fixing the body right now because it's a little beat up. Um, we got the batteries charging. I'm filming right now, obviously, getting some of the camera gear ready for tomorrow. And we'll update as we advance. Alright, so this is our first idea right here for the mount. The car, I mean, the camera is going to be facing the back. So that'll be pretty cool to be able to see rocks flying up from the tires and stuff like that. Blake's over there uh, cleaning up the body. We've torn the crap out of that body. I think we're going to need a new one soon. Tracks of said they're indestructible. I don't think so. What do you think? The truck's held up pretty good, but the, the body... truck, but the body, no. The truck's held up really good so far. Did that in one day. Well, I'm going to show the damage real quick. Broke that right there. And then, right here, kind of screwed that up. The, the, the bolts pulled right through the holes. So yeah, we'll update you on the next part. Alright guys, so I think we got a solution on, tr on something that we could use for a washer for now. Okay, so we'll just take one of these, just a normal Traxxas washer. We'll stick it on there. With one of these uh, body... What are these called? Body... I don't know, you put them under the body pin on like a... Slash. So it doesn't pull through your body. So, okay, we'll just put one of those on there and it seems to hold pretty good. I'm we'll putting we'll quite a bit of pressure on there. We'll just have to cut it out into the little spots on where to put it. So, and so yes. this is just temporary, guys, not forever. We'll, we'll find a good fix. Alright, so I guess this will probably work for tomorrow. Is that it? Yep. Alright. So we got, we got the body all stretched, I mean all uh, shined up. Yeah, battery, second battery is almost charged. I don't know what happened to the left side of this charger. It's not working, so we got to charge each battery separately. We got some music playing just to break the silence up there. And yeah, so I'll update you on the next, on our next advancement. All right, guys. So our idea didn't work. The plastic isn't strong enough. You just tighten it just a little bit, and the screw just slips right through. So we're gonna have to find a different way. We're thinking about drilling a hole through a penny. It's not really. I don't know. It might be against the law. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's just a penny, maybe. What do you think? I don't know. If we guys, if we do this, you guys can't say anything. <laughs> we might do it. Do, do you have any drill bits that'll work? Yeah. Where are they at? Uh, I think they're out in the shop. Oh, they're out in the shop. It's too cold. I don't want to go out there. <laughs> anyway, so should I? Are you ready for me to stick out on this? Uh, yeah, I think so. We good? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna stick one on there. Alright, so we're putting some jackets on. Because it's cold outside and we're gonna go out to the shop and look for some washers. I don't think we're gonna do that penny thing. So, yeah. I'm gonna put you guys on the Karma. So we got some good stable shots. And we'll see you out there. Maybe something we can drill a hole in or something? Okay. Well, we're thinking about drilling a hole through a penny, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. No, you probably shouldn't. Yeah, probably not. You probably should find some vice grips if you're going to drill through something. So yeah. Yes, yeah, I don't drill a hole through my finger yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, drill the grip screw. Yep, drill the hole right through my finger. That was awesome. Yeah. You got some snow. We might ride in some snow before we, before we take it out to the gravel pit. What? When are you guys going to put that wood stove in? There's the command man. The commander will take that out tomorrow to the gravel pits. Can, can we see our breath? Okay, oh, I can't see my breath. Let's get the tripod. Oh, yeah. For There's tomorrow, so. Off, off your hunting bag. Yeah. <laughs> totally casual. There's a Mr. Buddy. Take that when we go film tomorrow. Yeah, so it's warm. Does the command man have heaters? Okay, my mom said she had this little tray. Does the commander have heaters? No. No? God, it's cold. Not as fancy as your ranger. 
have my ranger as heaters. <laughs> it's so warm in that thing when we go in here. Oh, it's snowing here. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna update let's you guys when we find. It out in here. I'm gonna update you guys when we find something good. All right. All right, guys. So I'm kind of over here nosing around. Blake's over there, I'm still searching. I don't think I'm going to find anything over here. I think it's funny, Blake. You got everything but freaking washers. Uh, what? Here. Find something? No. No? Too big. Too big? <sighs> Alright. Maybe you could find a smaller washer to work with it. Maybe walk all the way around. Are you serious? Hmm? Find something? It looks like it. What's up, Katie? He's gonna run? Alright, goodbye. Hmm. Oh, it's cool. Hey, Blake, does this scooter run? Yeah. That thing's awesome. Is it quick? Find something? Oh my god, yes! They're plastic though. Is that just that's just one though? Oh, it's not it? it's metal! Is it? There's two, three. three. There's another one. This will work. No one. Yeah, what? Too big. But I roll grab this just cause. Bro. How about on this side? Is there anything on that side? I don't know. Oh, I, I think, think I, I see something. Good. Blake, it's getting a little too cold. Honestly, I think if we just get down the front and the back, I honestly think we'll be good, don't you think? Yeah. We see it'll hold the front down because the front's what always comes off. Well, if we could get something to cut this in half, that'd work too. Yeah, like your Dremel, but you don't have a cutting bit on it. I mean, you don't have a, you know. You think, you think this is good? Alright, so I think we can maybe go put it on. Yeah, let's go try. Whatever. Right. We can always come back out, right? Yep. Alright, see you guys in there. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, guys, it's almost Christmas time. What do you think you're going to get for Christmas, Blake? Um, hopefully an X-Max. It looks like an X-Max. <laughs> looks like the box mine came in. This is the door locked. Are you serious? Alright, so... I can't show the code. There we go. All right. Too tight. You stripped it out already. The screw? Yeah. No, you stripped the freaking hole out. Good job, Black. No, that actually, it's it's stuck though. All right, Who this. cares? It's permanent. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, hold what? Hold the, hold the car. Let me take this. Hold the car. Thank you. Alright, so I guess you guys saw how the body looked earlier, and you know careful, how it was all came out and stuff, so it's pretty solid now, so. I think it'll be good. We got everything intact pretty good, and then, yeah, pretty solid now, it doesn't flip out or anything anymore. This Lexan is just kind of just like a cheapy plastic, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty good too. Yeah, I'll show you. Alright. Just pop oh. it off like that. Quick release. Alright, so let's see. We need to stick a mount on it. Here, I need to push down a little bit. <laughs> looks pretty sweet, dude. Just the tires. Everything else is dirty except the body. It looks kind of weird. Here, let me do this for you. I got it. You got it? Yeah. You so, stick a mount on it. Where's the mount set? As you can see, look. Oh, it's plenty solid. I think oh, it'll yeah. be good. I think we should be fixed for a while. What do you guys think? Yeah, pretty strong. Yeah. I think if we don't trash it like we did last time, we should be fine. Yep. Let's put, want to put a mount on it or should we clean it before we put a mount on it? I think it? we should clean it. Clean it up for me. Or you got anything to clean it with? Each. What do you think? Just water. Must work? Maybe. I think what water. What is WD-40? That won't work at all. 
water, I think. Let's go grab some water, a cup of water. All right, see you guys in a minute. <clears throat> so what do you think? Should we stick one right there and right there, or? How many do you have? Do we have, like, enough? I've got enough? plenty. I've got plenty. You think? Like, if we put one here, we'd have to put a curved one. No, because we can put it right here. It's really flat right here. Let okay. me see. Let's let's test it. It looks pretty flat. Let's get another GoPro and see what the view looks like. All right, so we got got this set up. Clip it on here. I like these new mounts. How they got the plastic, I mean the rubber right here in between the plastic, so it doesn't come off. You got anything to dry it with? Um, I should have some rags or something somewhere. Oh, I got some paper towels over here. Oh, I was gonna use them. Oh, okay. You gotta make sure you scrub these things really good though to go this way because that's way, which way the scratches usually are. To make it GoPro stick, you gotta get it. It's gotta be warm too. The body can't be cold or it won't stick. Yeah, we figured I tried, that out the hard way. I tried doing that on my snowmobile helmet over your snowmobile and it would not stick. And we tried to do it out in the shop, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> stick mounts on. Alright, All right, so we stick it on, kid. Alright. Screen though. All right. Make sure it's straight. Straight enough. Well, what you guys want to do is make sure you leave this in like a leave the mount on this body in like room room temperature atmosphere. And leave it for about 24 hours. It'll be completely cured. It, should, it shouldn't come off. Good. So tomorrow we're going to get up real early and uh, get in the commander. And we're going to ride down to the gravel pits. And we're going to use the Karma in the commander so it's stable. We're going to use that mountain we just showed you. And use the shorty. We can even do a little bit of rock crawling there too. Is your rock crawler broken still? Yeah. You need to fix that. Yeah. You need to order the parts. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Tune in for part two. This is part one. Since the videos are going to be a little long, I'm going to edit this and post it tonight. And I'm going to post the other one tomorrow night. So stay tuned.